For this project, I took an online workshop that was taught by Josh Googie. Josh is a world-renowned bird and fish carver, and he's won multiple world titles, and he's taught workshops all over the country, and I was lucky to get in on this one. But I'll leave a link in the description below uh, with his contact information and his website. You can go and check out his schedule. And if you can, if you can get in on one of his courses, I promise you, you won't go wrong. You'll enjoy it. And Josh makes it easy to learn and follow along. And uh, you'll learn a lot from him, I promise you. So go check him out.
So I followed the paint schedule that Josh had laid out in the workshop and had the base colors all airbrushed on and was ready to start doing hand painting details and then I was gonna scale tip it and I got invited to go on a trout fishing trip here in, on the White River in Arkansas so I decided to go before I finished it and we get up there and we caught a bunch of trout and I was noticing they were quite a bit different in the color scheme than what was laid out in the, in the workshop so I decided to come home and repaint it to make it more closely match the native trout here in Arkansas. So the color scheme on my trout ended up being somewhat different than what was laid out in the class. Hey Danny, how you doing? Thanks for sending me the pictures of your uh, your rainbow. Really looks nice. Uh, you did a great job following along in the class, and uh, I think one of the smartest things you did was go and catch some real rainbow trout before you finished painting yours, because it really um, I think that really enhanced the uh, the look of the finished trout uh, by going out in nature and, and taking. Um, a hard look at what's really out there and adding it to your to your fish. I think that was great. Um, as far as a couple things you can touch up around the face, adding some a little bit of white edge on some of those um, anatomy lines on the face like you did around the mouth to get those things to pop out because they're kind of hard to see in the pictures. Um, but like some of the colors you added I saw on the fins and around the face, some of that detail. The more detail you add around the eye and the face, 
the more connection you'll have with the viewer, the more realistic, the more character you'll get out of that fish, which, which you're trying to get a whole lot of um, emotion out of that fish. fish, fish. Um, so I, I would encourage you to uh, continue to do that. As far as the, um, uh, the composition of the piece, I'd work on that a little bit. Your, your fish is kind of off to the left side of the base. Visually, it looks like it's going to tip over. It's actually a pretty easy fix. You can, you can chop part of that branch and bring the fish closer over the base so it doesn't look like visually it's going to tip over. Um, I think the colors of the rock look great. You got some good color in there and they're subtle. They're not, they're not too distracting from the fish. Um, I would slightly alter the branch as far as uh, it's very dark. It's almost comes across as black. It doesn't look natural um, as far as something that had been sitting in the water. Um, a quick easy fix is to dry brush some lighter tones on that rock, lighter earthy colors to, uh, to tone it down a little bit so it's not so, so dark, so stark. Um, otherwise, it's a great piece. Um, I think you did a great job. Okay, that's gonna be it for part five of the Rainbow Trout Wood Carving Project. Uh, we really wanna thank Josh Googie for coming by and giving me a final critique on the piece. Um, in case you missed it, he also came by in part three and gave me a critique on the pre-paint stage of uh, over the, the stage up to pre-paint um, for that part of the project. Uh, just a little recap on Josh. Josh is a, a world-renowned bird and fish carver. He's won multiple world titles in both bird and fish carvings. He's taught uh, carving workshops all over the country, and he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal artist and, instru and instructor. Um, I met Josh last year at the World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championship where I was uh, entered in a novice division and I won first place for a largemouth bass and also won best in show. Uh, didn't carry any prizes, which that's okay because I, the, the trip, the experience of it all was well worth the trip up there in the first place. Uh, but Josh was kind enough to give me a certificate to take one of his workshops. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't go take one in person, but I did get online and see that he was painting, uh, looked at the schedule and saw rainbow trout and I said, hey, that's the one I want to do. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, but I'm going to put Josh's uh, contact information in the comment section below. And if you're interested in taking a, a course of his, go check out the schedule and uh, get in contact with him. I promise you, you won't be disappointed and you can't go wrong taking one of his classes. Uh, you'll learn a ton. I know I learned a lot in this one. Um, but overall, I'm happy with the project. There's a few things I know I would do different on the next one, and I, and I do that on every project. I always learn something, and I say, okay, mental note, don't do that next time, which, uh, which I, there's several instances on here. Um, I didn't show them all. Uh, I broke the fin off and had, broke the top of the uh, dorsal fin off, had to glue it back on. Broke off the pectoral fin, had to glue it back on. Um, I wish I'd have taken a little more time tipping the scales. Uh, it's kind of sloppy in a couple areas, um, but like I say, overall I'm happy with it, and uh, I, I think it's one of my better pieces so far. Uh, but again, it'll be something I learn on the next one. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up; it helps this channel grow. And I appreciate it, and I'll see y'all on the next project, which I think is going to be a bluegill. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.